<clears throat> All right. All right, so here I am. Now, as you can see, this is how I want people to perceive me. This is how my ideal body would be. As you can see, being about, uh, this gentleman's probably weighs about 175, I'd say, about six feet tall. He's got my goatee, but he has the nice ponytail, the little douchey ponytail from like, uh, I don't know, from like an attorney from the 1980s or something, or one of those generic guys with Uzis from action movies. Uh, a Dead Island t-shirt, you know, the hottest games being represented, being shilled on my persona. <clears throat> Biker gloves. There you go. That is that is definitely the epif not the epiphany, the epitome of what I can be as a person. So you know, look at this. This fellow, hold on. Now hold on. Just look at this fellow right here that we're following. Look at him running a while around with this giant electric sword, right? You notice something, right? No one's called the authorities. No one's complaining. No one's up in a tizzy here about this guy with his electric sword running around. I mean, is it weird that his ears are glowing green right now? Absolutely. But you notice that it's perfectly commonplace here for this kind of interaction. This is the ultimate place. You tell me, let me ask you this. Do you think if you ran around with a giant electric sword in real life that you'd get away with it? No, because there's too many fucking... Oversensitive people. Oh, he's gonna hit someone with the sword. Oh, he he might hurt someone. He might trip and stab someone with that thing. He immediately call the police and they ruin all the fun. As you can see here, this gentleman knows where it's at. That's why he's here on the PS home today. Okay. <laughs> look, look at this guy. This guy's got guns. He's got two guns. Tell me you could walk down the street with two gats like that and you're not going to get plastered by someone. Just tell me, you know? Look at this. This guy's tattoos. He couldn't settle for standard tattoos. He Oh, and look at that. Before I could even finish commenting, he was able to completely disappear in front of my face with no problems. Where can you do that in real life? Don't you realize in real life when you're stuck with people you don't like, don't you wish you could just instantly disappear? Do you see where I'm coming from, people? This is it. This is how you do it. Look, come on, let's continue. What do we got over here? We got music playing. Some kind of reggaeton or something. I don't know what's going on. Look, look at this gentleman. Come on. Look what he's wearing. He's wearing his grandmother's outfit, his grandmother's nightgown. He's got a giant sniper rifle style gun, right? Two little ponytail things coming off of his beard, orange shoes, and. Ooh, nice sunglasses just loaded. Who wouldn't want to look like this? But the problem is in real life, societal norms confine us and tell us that we can't dress like that gentleman. That man would have been ridiculed in real life. Here he could be who he really wants to be. And this is why PlayStation Home is the epitome of social interaction. Like, here's a chick randomly just dancing, breaking out into spontaneous dance. Perfectly acceptable here. Here's a girl with a giant furry tail. Her name is Purple Yo Girl. And by me, look at this. In real life, would I be able to walk up right into this girl's chest and rub my body all over her squirrel body like this without getting her ar uh, arrested? And this girl screaming at the top of her lungs for help? Look at this. Look at what I could do with this. No one's, no one's complaining. No one's calling the police. No one's... Spraying me with mace or tasing me. I could do whatever I want. This is acceptable. This is completely amazing. I just cannot believe. Look at this. The tango. He's doing the tango with the laser sword. And no one's getting chopped up. This is too good. This guy's glowing fucking eyes. Glowing fucking eyes. If his eyes glued real life, guess what would happen? He'd be arrested and experimented on for science. Look at this! A fucking space alien. It's the T-1000. You know what would happen if the T-1000 was walking down the street? 
The SWAT team would blow his fucking head off. Here, he could just be a normal person. Look at this. Excellent. This is the place to be. I'm just having so much fun. Walking around. Interacting. Can you imagine if I was sitting in a bar having a drink right now? What would I be doing? Nothing. Here already, look at all the interaction I've had. What do we got over here? Games, huh? What are these games you speak of? Never heard of them. It's into the game store. Download failed. Okay. Okay, well. There you go. Life's not about games. This is about social interaction, not fun and games, okay? You want to have your games, you can play them later. On your iPad or, or other touchscreen mobile device. You don't need to use your game console to play video games. Come on. That's... What the heck? Look at this exceptional guy. Oh my goodness. Look how awesome this guy looks. Now come on. Come on, man. Try wearing that in real life. See what happens. See if you have two big pink balls in the exact positioning this guy has on near his chest. And see what happens. Look, he's sexually harassed. This guy can do whatever he wants, though. It's excellent. It's outstanding. <clears throat> here. And now let me show you something. Here. We're going to do something here. What do you do here? Threads. The thread store. Here we go. Download failed. Okay. So, I guess we're not doing that either. What about the mall? Let's go to the mall. We're going to the mall. Now, what you're going to see here, how excellent this is going to be. Unlike the real-life mall, where you're constantly being harassed, right? You're constantly, constantly being harassed for multiple different reasons. Sir, please buy this. Sir, would you like to take a survey? Women. Women looking at you and undressing you with their eyes. It's disgusting. It's vile. What people will do when they see you in person. We're going to go to the virtual mall. We're going to go to the place where everyone is safe, secure, at home, not subject to your prying, disgusting eyes, and not having horrible, horrible things done to them. And they're not. you're also not going to be solicited. You're not going to have assholes coming up to you. Do you want to buy this this fucking stupid putty that we splat against the wall and you, you know, because it's like Christmas or whatever, we harass the fuck out of you to buy it from this kiosk? Here, do you want one of these stupid plastic choppers that no one would ever fucking want because how, where the hell do you fly a fucking remote control plastic chopper? None of that. You won't get any of that here. This is going to be great. This is going to be the best experience at a mall that I've ever had. <clears throat> I can't wait. 